What is up everyone, it's your boy Mad Panda, and today we're going to be playing part 2 of Assassin's Creed Revelations. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's begin. I think I said it the last episode, well the first episode. Uh, this new fit actually looks pretty cool, like a dark sweater and stuff. Kind of kind of like shows like a bit of how dark this game is a bit, you know. Dear sister, Mazyov is overrun by a battery of Templars, and their motive is clear. They desire the secrets locked away in Altair's library. Secrets they believe will lead them to something called the Grand Temple. Whether or not this is true, I do know the library is real. I have seen its door for myself. But none can enter. Not without five keys which were sent to Constantinople with Niccolo Polo almost 300 years ago. Claudia, I must find these keys. The Templars have already located one, and I do not know how difficult it will be to find the others. Only time, skill, and a bit of luck will tell. Ezio, I keep saying this, but Ezio has literally the best voice in the world, bro. Like, it's fucking smooth. Oh man, this brings back memories a bit, you know? Oh god, no. The lighting is starting to look like Revelation- not Revelations, the Brotherhoods. Really, really bland and orange. Yeah, that's one thing I didn't miss. I was hoping they had fixed it. A magnificent sight. It is a work in progress. No city in Europa has a skyline quite like this. Well, to be precise, that is Europa. That is Asia. Ah. Some borders even the Ottomans cannot move. Very few. You are Italian by the sound of it. But your outfit is not. Have you been traveling long? Si. I'm Otto Tempo. I left Rome as one of months ago, looking for... Inspiration. And that search brought me here. When I was a child, my father told me stories about the fall of Constantinople. You must mean the conquest of Constantini. I suppose the moral of any story matches the temper of the man telling it. That we can agree on. Guzel! Constantini is a city for all kinds and creeds. Students like me or... Uh, Travelers such as yourself. Little did he know he was talking to a prince. Yeah, I still remember that kid. I I'm pretty sure so he's a prince. Work to return to, but it is good to be home. Work. When I was your age, my interests were were mainly salve. Incredible. I am surprised you got anything done. As was my mother. It was a pleasure speaking with you, Bayef Endi. I hope you find something to hold your interest in. I have faith I will. Ezio literally forgot his conversation. Yeah, He's like, I was you mainly interested you in... Hello. <laughs> and then he just blew him off. Ended, gentlemen. You are full of surprises. <laughs> Very few, my friend. Exceed all mine. Hosh Galdin Kardashian. Unless the legend is a lie, you are the man I long to meet. Renowned master and mentor. It's your auditory, the la la la. Prego. Uh, forgive me. I have a hard time remembering that Italian gibberish. Da Firenze. The city where I was born. Ah, yes. Uh, so, by your custom, I would be Yusuf Tazim da Istanbul. I like that. Istanbul. Yet another name for this city. Evet. It's a local favorite. Uh, come, mentor da Firenze. I will show you around. I actually believe that's how the city is actually called now, Istanbul. Um... You know, I'm not I'm not Turkish, uh, so I wouldn't know. You know, 
Uh, but I think I like the name Constantinople a bit better, you know? It's really ancient. Uh, master Assassin Yusuf to Oh, he's a Master Assassin. Oh, I thought it was like a grunt. Well, I, I haven't played this game in so long, so, you know. Yus Yusuf Tazim has welcomed the constant to tour, get to know him, and the city. Do not wander far from Yusuf. Alright. That seems simple enough. Oh, man. You won't find more diversity anywhere else in the city. And for that reason, assassins make it their home. I would like to see where. Guessing likely. The Brotherhood is always eager to meet the man who put the Borgias out to pasture. Cassin <laughs> Likle. I'm gonna start just using these. Does uh, everyone in this city know I'm here already? Different words from these well, games. Holy land with the in my regular speech. Go unnoticed. Cassin Likle. When I first set out, just rolls off the tongue. was so far from my mind. I sought wisdom. The contents of Altair's library. <laughs> Not realizing it has been sealed for three centuries? <laughs> no, I assumed as much. But I never expected to find Templars guarding it. Very troubling, no? Five years ago, uh, Templar influence here was minimal. A small faction with dreams of restoring... The, the game actually looks wrong. pretty fucking beautiful. But I'm not gonna lie. Like, day by day, lighting and everything, to be honest. Bayezid on his way out. Hopefully there's like a night and day change and stuff. Is there no heir to the Ottoman throne? Not just one, two angry sons. It's a familiar pattern with these royals. When the Sultan calls, <laughs> the princes draw their swords. It just looks really weird to me seeing Ezio without a cape, you know, because I've been so used to it playing it for like this, like, you know, month and a half probably playing the last two games. And I don't know, like it just feels weird seeing him without a cape. Between the Templars and the Ottomans, you must stay busy. Ezio, I barely have time to polish my blade. <laughs> Alright, let's get it. First official combat. This city reminds me a lot of like um I think it was Jerusalem back in Assassin's Creed 1. There's Jerusalem, Damascus, and... No, it actually reminds me a bit of Damascus. There. And then there was Another Acre. Way. I think there was one more city, but I'm pretty sure it was just three. No, no. If that makes any sense. <laughs> Watch. Byzantium is dead, as are you. The whole city Wh who the hell are those? to welcome you, Ezio. First the regents, now the rats. So we got the mercenaries. Ottoman soldiers have a special loathing for these Byzantine thugs. That gives us some breathing room. How much? Eh, just a little. They'll still kill you if you look at them wrong. But they will feel bad about it later. Touch. <laughs> it's not so bad, really. For the first time in many decades, the assassins have a strong presence here. It wasn't always that way. Under the Byzantine Emperor, the assassins were hunted down and killed on the spot. I'm just... I just realized, how normal do they take it to the point where... Like, Ezio literally just had a scuffle with three people, murdered them in the middle of the street, and, oh, okay, let's keep going with the tour. Like, <laughs> like what the fuck? This shit's crazy. <laughs> We're almost there. Like, now, now it's starting to sink in that I've been doing this for, like, the past, like, two games and shit. Like, random as hell. Like, I feel like people would actually look the, at the assassins as the villains, you know? Like, everywhere they go, they just start murdering fucking guards all over the place. Like, we know the story, but, you know, they, they wouldn't. I actually thought we were going to climb that, uh, the tower, the big, uh, Constantinople tower. Uh, I don't this know what way. it's called. But, uh, I guess not. Oh, yeah, this is the Brotherhood, uh, Bureau. Nice. Oh, uh, do we enter? I don't know where, whether to enter or not. Um, I want to keep going, but I think I want to end the video here as the tour. And then, uh, we're going to continue next. Like uh, I think I'm gonna continue with the short videos, like how I've been doing with the with the with the two previous games. Like each sequence, it's to its own video. So uh, yeah, it's only 10 minutes long, but uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys next time. This already brings back so many memories and nostalgia, and uh, yeah, I can't I can't wait to start playing fully this game and stuff. And uh, yeah, peace.